Hi, today we're going to solve the following problem. What happens when you're working with normal distributions and uh, the values that you're looking for, either for the probability or for the variable, are not in the table, okay? So what we do is, there's various options there, some people use approximation, but the most precise way to solve this is to do linear interpolation, okay? So uh, imagine, let's look at two cases. Imagine the in the first case where we're looking at the, uh, we know that the probability that our uh, variable um, is less or equal to a value equals 0 0.9, okay? So uh, basically what we're being told is that in our normal distribution, okay, uh, if uh, this is our variable, okay, so we know that all this probability is 0 0.9, okay? So, if we go to, a, to, the, to our tables, okay, and this is a standard table, uh, where you know that the variables are uh, first row are the first digits, and in the first, uh, first column are the first digits, and the first row the second digits, after the decimal point. So, and inside the table is the probability. So, we will have to look for the value 0 0.9 in the probability. So, uh, if we look at the table, we see that the values are between 1.28 and 1.29. Um, but we don't have 0 0.9 exactly. We have that the uh, 1.28 gives us 0 0.899... Um, 73 and 1.29 gives us 0 0.90147 okay okay so uh, our 0 0.9 must be somewhere in between but it's not exactly in the middle because as you see the difference is not the same uh, there's not the same difference between one point and the other Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to suppose that we can approximate those values to a straight line, and that if we have one point twenty, uh, if we have one point twenty-eight here and one point twenty-nine here, and this is uh, zero point eight nine nine seven three, and that's over here is. 0 0.90147 we're going to suppose that th we can approximate the difference to a straight line and that our point is somewhere around here and that's our x okay and we will and this is 0 0.9 okay so what do we do now for the interpolation okay so what we're going to do is we're going to find you, you can see that we can uh, find this difference, and this difference, and this difference. We can work with any one of them. So what we're going to do is a series of differences, um, ratios of, of differences, uh, between these three points that we have here, supposing that it's a straight line. For example, what we can do is, I like to use the highest and the lowest for the first difference in the y and the x. So I'll use y and x on one side of the equation and y and x on one on the other side of the equation. Some people like to write on one side of the equation both x's, on the other side both y's. It doesn't matter as long as you uh, are consistent with what you're doing, but I'll follow the method that I normally use. Okay, so what are we going to do now? We're going to subtract the y's of the highest and the lowest points, so that's 0 0.9014 minus 0 0.899973. Okay, As that's one nine, that's x, so that's a seven, and that's a seven. Divided by, and then that's those were the y's, and now I do 1.29, which was the y that corresponds to that i, and 1.28. Okay, and now on the other side of the equation, I'm going to do the same thing with but using my point and any of the other ones. The logical thing is to use the lower one so that we don't have negative numbers. So 0 0.9 in the y's, we had y's here, so we're going to use y's on the numerator too, minus 0 0.89973, and then we had x in the denominator, so we're going to do the same thing, x minus 1.28.
Now, I know that your calculators can do this and solve for x, but I'm going to do the calculation so that you can see what we're doing. Okay, so uh, bear with me for a second while I do it. So if we have uh, 0 0.9014 minus 0 0.89973, that's this. Obviously, I don't need a calculator for this. This is zero point. Okay, and so if we put x as the subject of the equation, we have zero point zero 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 two seven multiplied by zero point zero one. That goes from bottom to the top. Then we send this one to the denominator, and then plus one point twenty eight which was subtracting on the other side. So if we do that, we get, and I'm going to leave it at four decimal places, so that's more or less that. So we obtain that our x is more or less 1.2816, which as you see is between those two numbers, okay? So, linear interpolation, how to obtain a value when we don't have it in our uh, table, supposing that the uh, values vary in a straight line. They don't really, it's a curve, but if we take small enough differences, we can suppose that as it's a straight line. It's a reasonable enough uh, interpretation, okay? We have done it only uh, when we have the, um, when we have the uh, probability and we want to find the, uh, our variable, which is the most common case, but it can also be done if we uh, have the uh, uh, we have the variables and we don't have a pr value of our probability in our table. We can also do that. It ju it's just changing the x in in the numerator or the denominator and using that those differences. Okay. So I hope it helps.